Hello and welcome to Enterprise University. In the first part of this exercise, we will learn how to enter a sales representative commission on sales orders or invoices. We have two options in entering sales representative commissions. First is automatically through the sales representative commission source that we set up. Second is manually entering the commission percent and splitting the commission among sales representatives. For the system to automatically calculate the commission on customer orders, we need to have default commission to set up in any of the following sources. The customer ship to, customer billing, sales representative or inventory item, otherwise there will be no default calculation. We discussed how to set up commission sources in the last exercise. In this example, we will create a new sales order for the customer Alice in Wonderland Tours. Alice in Wonderland Tours has sales representative specified as the commission source and is assigned to the internal sales representative, Terence Sales. Let's enter line items into the order. Then, let's switch to the Sales Representative tab and the Commissions tab. We will find the default Sales Representative assigned to the customer. In the Contacts column, we can select Contacts or Sales Representatives that we can split the commission to. We can manually divide the commission percent among Sales Representatives in the Percent Split column. In this example, we will select another Sales Representative in the list and, and divide the commission percent between the two. In the Commissions tab, we can view the Commission Source and Commission Calculation for each line item. We would be able to know if an item is commissionable or not. We have the option to override and modify the default sales representative Commission Calculation as we may need. Note that the Commission percentages that we modified will be marked as manual. Let's save and convert the sales order to invoice. Let's view the sales invoice and look at the commission information. We will find the commission information that we modified in the sales order is carried onto the sales invoice. From the sales invoice, we can modify the commission information as we may need. Let's save and close the sales invoice. In another example, we will simulate entering commission orders for web affiliates. Let's say the customer follows the link to the web affiliate site for clearing rewards and places an order from our web store. The customer orders and checks out anonymously from our web store. The customer order will be linked to the default e-commerce shopper customer. The default e-commerce shopper customer account has sales representatives specified as the commission source but does not have a default sales representative assigned. This way, any web affiliate will become the assigned sales representative as customer come from different web affiliate sites. Let's go to the sales order search list and look for the latest order record for the default e-commerce shopper. We will find the web affiliate clearing rewards assigned to the customer order. In the context column, we can select contacts or sales representatives that we can split the commission to. We can manually divide the commission percent among contacts in the percent split column. In this example, we will assign only our default contact to the web affiliate. In the commissions tab, we can view the commission source and commission calculation for each line item. We would be able to know if an item is commissionable or not. We have the option to override and modify the default web affiliate commission calculation as we may need. Note that the commission percentages that we may modified will be marked as manual.
Let's save the customer order and convert to invoice. Let's view the sales invoice and look at the commission information. We will find the commission information that we modified in the sales order is carried onto the sales invoice. From the sales invoice, we can modify the commission information as we may need. Let's save and close the sales invoice. Thank you for watching. In the next part of this exercise, we will learn how to process sales representative commission.